Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new gameplay episode of Top Drives. Now a little disclaimer before this video, I am sorry if this video is not as hype as usual, if it's not as uh, engaging or whatever. I am currently really sick. Um, <clears throat> hopefully uh, it will go away soon, but I have like... Um, headaches, uh, I have a throat infection of some sort um, and, and it's just not a nice time. I feel ultra tired every waking hour and I um, barely have any energy to do anything at the moment but immortalized in carbon we gotta do it guys I mean come on this new challenge series I'm not gonna sit one out because I'm a little sick we're gonna soldier through this, guys, and we're gonna beat this, okay? Mm. Hopefully, uh, in the coming days, as these challenges get more difficult, uh, I will regain some semblance of energy, because um, I do get quite annoyed with these challenges when I'm not energized properly, uh, as you may know if you have been watching my channel for a while. Um, but yeah, uh, I hope you can understand the predicament and I am sorry if if uh, there might not be a video tomorrow. I'm not sure if I will upload one because um, I might need a rest day tomorrow, honestly. Um, but today there's at least a video, so at least something is coming your guys' way. Um, but yeah, I apologize for any inconvenience that uh, you might feel this is causing you. Um, maybe you wanted to see uh, daily videos, you know. I know some of you uh, really, really are in the routine of watching me every single day. Also, I can't thank you enough for that. It's, it's very, very, very nice what you guys are doing when you watch my stuff every day. Uh, it really, really, really... Um, is the highlight of my day seeing the same people comment on every video and like being active and talking uh, all the time I really I really do appreciate you guys but uh, yeah gonna have to skip a day probably I hate this Java update thingy that always comes up sorry about that guys all right so far so good what even is the price here only one ceramic in the end yeah, that's kind of boring. But yeah. That is what we're up against. Um, so at least, hopefully we don't get a legendary or something from the pack. And then I, I, I waste this reaction because I'm feeling under the weather, right? And we have like a bad reaction. Um, some of you might need, you know, uh, might need a video f uh, to watch for you to chill today. And this would be that video. Um. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to spend quite a lot of gold here. Unfortunately. Hmm. So far this has been going absolutely fine. I don't expect to run into any major problems here on the first challenge. Usually they are quite easy. Um. So hopefully that is the case here too. Wait, do we lose the second race now? I think we might. Oh, it's low? Huh. Is it just me or does this look medium here? Like this looks way lower, right? Than what this does. I don't know. Maybe I'm way off on that one. Um... After, oh yeah, um, in yesterday's video I talked about the Arash being a little bit underwhelming uh, and it seems like after talking to some people in my Discord server the general consensus is that it's, uh, it is a little bit underwhelming, uh, it shouldn't be 96 RQ, it's quite high for it. Um, my, my sentiment is that it should be RQ 94, um, but a lot of people said they wanted it even lower than that in my Discord, so... Who knows what the true RQ should be. Um, I still think 94 is not too bad for it. Maybe 93 even, but I, I think 94 is good. 
but 96 is definitely crazy. Like, it has no business being there. Alright, so far so good, guys. So far so good. Now, as always, down below in the comment section, feel free to let me know how you guys did in this challenge. Um, did you get past it or did you fail? Um, it's always interesting to see how you guys did, you know, compared to me. I always say this, but it's always true. I love to see down there how you guys are doing. Hopefully a lot of people pass this one, though. Uh, I'm guessing um, you probably aren't all the way through it yet, right? If you didn't buy tickets, but um, hopefully it is looking good at least for you. Um, no. So far, I must say this has been one of the easier even challenge ones, um, but uh, maybe it will get a little bit more difficult towards the end here. Okay, let's switch up the hand. All is well, all is well. Um, this one here, here, uh, here, here, and here. You know one thing? I don't know if you share this consensus with me, but like one thing I like about being sick is the fact that you can just, you know, sometimes when I'm not sick, I feel like I should relax and take it easy, right? But for me, in my brain, it's very hard for me to be like, to justify that. I never want to take it easy uh, unless there's a reason to. So. When I'm not sick and I want to take it easy, I very rarely do, which I realize is a bad trait, right? But when I'm sick, that's one of the few times where I actually have the, you know, go ahead from my own brain to take it easy and do nothing. And, you know, usually that is, you know, so good for me. And it's always the time when I need to take it easy the most that I get sick I feel like it's like uh, my, my body knows right that I should take it easy so it makes me sick I don't know but yeah slow days slow days coming up here for me yeah, which is nice do you guys have a favorite thing you do when you're sick like um, to relax or whatever to take your mind off things or something i like watching movies watching shows you know drinking tea i do love tea um, i feel like a lot of people are not the biggest tea fans you know but i love tea i think it's really good what else do i like to do i like to um yeah, you know, move slow, be in bed all day sometimes. Can be nice, can be nice. Not, not when you're not sick though, I don't like it. But uh, when I'm sick, yeah. I get to do those things that I don't normally do. Yeah, this video was a doozy to uh, record though. Uh, so, uh, I am happy I decided to actually record this for you guys because this has been super super easy and it's just been me out of placing cars basically. Uh, hopefully for you at home this went just as easily uh, for you and you are just out of placing cars as well. It looks to me from what I've seen that you can do this uh, easily with um, just rares I think up to this point at least. Uh, it might get harder uh, as we move uh, through the rounds here. But right now it's looking doable with only rares, which is uh, 
Very low bar, very low bar for anyone who is uh, coming into the game, who might be newer to the game. At least you get through this challenge, right? Uh, and always, as always, when I talk about new to the game, I'm not talking about you guys who just started like a month ago. I'm talking about the people who are at least, you know, RQ500, uh, you know. Those are the people I'm talking about when I'm talking about new players. I'm not talking about people who literally just started playing because this game is very different to other games. Uh, I've gotten actually increasing amount of questions recently on how to get good in the game quickly. And uh, the general, you know, answer to that is that you really cannot. Um, this is not a game that you just pick up and become good at immediately. That's not how it works. I've been playing this game since uh, 2016. And you know, that's what it takes. You gotta play it for a long time. I've also spent way more money than the average player has on the game. Because obviously I do this and I get money for it from YouTube ads. Uh, so I can put some money back into the game, right? A privilege many don't have. Um, so... Even with the six years I have, what I'm trying to say is, even with my six years, I still have, you know, an above average garage because of, you know, that I've bought into the game and I've bought a lot of packs and stuff like that. It's difficult. Top drives is difficult. It's not for the faint of heart. If you're looking for a casual gameplay experience, Top drives is not it. You shouldn't come here, uh, honestly. And I don't feel bad saying that, because that's just the truth. I feel like I would be lying to you if I said that it's a super easy going game, right? It's not. It can be super easy going at times, and especially when you have an established garage like I do. But it's a lot of hard work in the beginning. Especially if you don't want to spend any money, you really, really gotta work at it. And uh, that's one part of Top Drives that I think people underestimate. And if you don't stick with it and you just create new accounts or whatever people are doing, uh, you're never gonna get here. You're never gonna get to the stage where I'm at. You're never gonna see a lot of legendaries. You're never gonna, you know, I have 117 legendaries, but I remember how I was hard stuck with under 10 legendaries for like three years, you know. It takes time. It takes time. You gotta work at it. It takes time. And then you reach that... I think there's a point in top drives where you have a good enough garage to compete like decently every single time uh, like in every finals every event and that point i think i reached that like just a couple of years ago so keep in mind i played for like four years before i was truly competitive everywhere right and that's with spending money and um, so it takes time you can't just expect to become good at top drives immediately because it's never gonna happen you gotta you you gotta let it take the time it takes if you want to play you know and if you're a more casual player then i don't think this game is so much for you um, if i'm gonna be completely frank uh, i don't think um, this game is suited for casual play But yeah, rant over. I don't even know if that's a rant. Um, it's just, you know, you gotta manage your expectations when you're playing top drives. That th That's what I'm gonna say about it. Uh, but this is the last round. This is the round I will leave you guys with. But of course, we have the ceramic pack. Uh, let's see if we can get something good. I hope I don't get anything too good now because I am not in the mood of reacting. Okay. All right, nothing special. Uh, well, there we go. That was immortalized in carbon. I really do hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Top Drives. If you did, make sure to leave it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, I will try to upload more videos as soon as I possibly can. Hopefully, I will feel better in the mornings to come. Uh, and I will have more energy to record videos. Um... The second Immortalized in Carbon video will come in like two days anyways, because um, there's no way I'm skipping it. Um, because the thing is, if we look at events, right, um, this event is ending... No, okay. Ah, it's ending in two days. 
Okay. Yeah, right, because t today's a video I have, and then tomorrow there will be no video, probably, and then the day after this event will have ended, so I will do the uh, challenge video at least. So, the day after tomorrow there will at least be a video for you guys, guaranteed. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. If you want to support me, there's a Patreon and a YouTube membership you can check out, and if you do want to see what I'm currently maxing out, I have an Instagram page where I post every single max that I do. And if you want to join one of the biggest top drives Discord communities, my top drives Discord server, the top drives hideout is down below in the description. We have over 2,000 members, we could always use another one. With all of that being said though, thank you so much for watching. Until the very next time guys, stay safe, have a good one, take care from lover, and goodbye guys.